gonna kill you. Oh, all right. It's my dad. Oh. I just want to start off by saying I love everybody in the building tonight. All right, I really appreciate all of you guys for coming tonight. You guys make good decisions in your lives, clearly. Shout out to the camera guy, Chandler. That feels crazy, bro. I love the dad. Brian, you look great in peach. Is that a peach? Is that like a dark peach? Almost an orange. It's a peach orange. Peach orange. There we go. Peaches do have sexual oranges. Look at us. Kyle, you look good as well. It's a beautiful day. It's a great day to be nice. You know, I'm going to be very nice the whole night. How's it going, man? I like those boots. Those are nice boots, man. Man, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to be nice. I'm being a nice person tonight. His vitals haven't changed much, and I don't see many signs of improvement. Oh, well, it looks like he's moving. Uh, Sir, can you hear me? Uh, uh, what? Uh, where, where am I? You're in Mercy Community Hospital. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Do you remember your name? My name is Rob, Robert Hobbs. Good, he remembers who he is. Nurse, please go and alert Mr. Hobbs' family that he's awake now. I'll get them. Doctor, how, how long was I out for? For about a year and a half. Oh my God, a whole year with my kids. So it's all right. What's important is you're awake now and your family should be on their way. Just sit tight and I'll be back and we'll start running tests. <laughs> and this is the 6 o'clock news. Rumors continue to surface regarding President-elect Donald Trump's pick for his future cabinet. Donald Trump won the election? <laughs> yeah, he did. When I went out, there were like 15 people running. How did he win? <laughs> Nobody really knows. Uh, in all honesty, it's been a really weird year. Really? What else happened? And the entire city of Chicago is still celebrating after the Cubs' historic win in the World Series. Uh -huh. Oh my god, the Cubs won? For the first time in like a hundred years. That's incredible! Yeah. Biologists are now exploring ways to save the dying Great Barrier Reef. We killed the Great Barrier Reef? And scientists are struggling to preserve the remaining bee population. And the bees? Okay, so the TV is not a good idea right now. <laughs> what, did, did we lose like any major world leaders? Uh, I mean, we lost Gene Wilder, Prince, David oh. Bowie, and Leonard Cohen. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> but the loss that really shook the nation was a zoo gorilla in Ohio. What? Yeah, that was a whole thing. <laughs> Doctor, come quick, there's been another clown attack. Another clown attack? A lot of those recently. That's, how is that happening? That's terrible. <laughs> Your family should be here soon. Do you just want to like, do Oh, for a yeah. Can I, can you see if the Cosby show is on? Oh, like, yeah. that one just cheers me up. I have some bad news. Oh, is there any good news? Oh, well, McDonald's serves breakfast all day. Holy fuck, I'm going there! <laughs> Was it the 
church. I was at my mom's house. I was at Tavo. I was at little Georgie. <laughs> Yeah, we was just out on the lab. Then I went to Luke and I came back and he was murdered. What? He's obviously the werewolf then. I am not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Hey, put up that bag. Hey, I'm telling you that. Hey, 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 hey. Oi! Enough! All right, we're going to figure this out the old-fashioned way, all right? This is made of silver. I'm going to touch his hand and he's going to burn if he's the werewolf, all right? Now, you're in the Lord's hands now. Do you have any last words? I don't really get the game of cricket. Well, we can talk. About Let it be time! See, I told you I'm not the werewolf. I'm just really hairy. <laughs> I'm sorry, my child. I let my prejudices get in the way of respecting my fellow human. And for that, I apologize. And I guess I won't be needing this now. So here you go. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> To another stereotypical award show with your host, a wash up rapper turned actor, and a B list country starlet. Hi, y'all, a B list country starlet. <laughs> and I'm a washed up rapper turned actor. Usually on my day to day, I wouldn't be in spit listening to this girl. Since it's an award show, we hear. Diversity. Now, before we get to your uh, most wanted award poppiest pop song, we are going to give the award for the most aesthetically pleasing Instagram account. And the nominees are YouTuber who has no right to be here. <laughs> Sibling of a reality TV star. National food chain's animal mascot. Got mildly famous by accidentally leaking their sex tape. Rap crew hype man. All right, the competition is getting tougher every year, but the winner this year is. <laughs> the logger who got mildly famous by leaking their sex tape. Yeah! Uh, thank you. 
uh, Beelow's Country Starlet. It is truly a disgrace to be here this evening. <laughs> uh, but as a legitimate actor, I will pretend to enjoy myself while I give out this award to a man who 100% does not deserve this 100% meaningless award. <laughs> uh, he is a great person. He is a wonderful philanthropist and a darling friend of mine and of the community. He has donated millions of dollars to an organization that he created, which gave him person of the year in one of those magazines that we still pay attention to for some reason for three non-consecutive years. So for that reason, we're going to play a little audio clip from one of his great, great, great movies. <coughs> Mom, <laughs> this Danish is to die for. <laughs> and after that, please welcome our lovely guest to achieve the Honor Achievement Award, teen star turned rom-com male lead turned heroin addict turned Tony Award-winning actor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this means nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Worthless specks of dust. Talent doesn't exist. I haven't even seen Citizen Kane, and here I am with you, with me, with her. And I'm fucking him. <laughs> Get ready, boobs. Get <laughs> All right, we'll be right back to another stereotypical award show. Josh, you doing today? Not good, doctor. Look at, look at him. Can you fix him? Well, I have a feeling it's just the flu, but let me see what I can do. Has, has he eaten it all? No, every time we give him food, he just sends it to Ethiopia. <laughs> uh, Joshy, how many fingers am I holding up? One. Oh, God. <laughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong, Doc? He has Bono. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joshy, how are you feeling? I just can't. I can't seem to find it. Find what? What, what I'm looking for. <laughs> There's an end in my journal. I've written a situation and a diagnosis and a prescription for this exact situation. Let me just look for it. Is it serious, Doc? No, not if we treat it in enough time. <laughs> What's going on then, the pa? <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay in bed, son. My, I don't have time for bed. I have to go to Bill Gates' mansion. We have to 3D print some water for Niger Nigeria. <laughs> Doc, it's serious. What do we do? Okay, okay, it's right here. It's right here. All right. First, we have to open the atomic core, cut the black wire, and then reset the countdown timer. Oh, no. What is it? This. This is how to dismantle an atomic bomb. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> what can we do? We, we need holy water. The only way to stop Bono is to remind him that he is not Jesus. Where is the nearest church? Oh, let me see. Hold on. The map's it, It's kind of hard to read. These streets have no names. No. Oh, no. Wait, Doc, what do we do? Listen, man. There's nothing we can do. We have to leave. Oh, I can't leave. I, I have to do this. We or without you. Uh, what did you just say? No. With no, or without you. No, 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 no. Oh, well, what was this problem? Oh, no. We've got to go down to Darfur and make sure we start a tire fire downwind so the battle for climate change never ends. Yeah! yeah. Taste and 
see. <laughs> a fairy, a fairy for you and for me. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, my, I feel like I can fly. Sing your song, sing your song. <laughs> <laughs> Found a warhead. 
Yo. Yo. Nice. This green warhead is for you, Katie. Uh, you real, David. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Nobody panic, huh? I'm not done yet. Oh, found another one. This blue warhead chai is for you, Luke. <laughs> nice. You are a savage. No, no. Don't call me a bitch because I have more tricks on my sleeve. Shit. This red one is for you, Jake. Waterheads, more heads for lemon. Too real, David. You're too real, David. Yeah, that's actually pretty funny that you gave me the watermelon one. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, no, uh, excuse me. Uh, turn, turn the fucking lights off. Turn the lights back on. Really, David? My bad? You think me and Jay joined this club just so we could be harassed? <laughs> it was just candy, bro. It's not just candy, David. It's someone's culture. Yeah, yeah. you went too fucking far this time. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, bro. It's, it's too late. Yeah, we said we really are now. You can't put the toothpaste back in the no, tube, David. Chill <laughs> out. Everybody calm down. Look, look, see, look. Here, Jay, look. Take this weird ass, I don't know what flavor, take that one, and then give me the watermelon one, you know what, then you go problem solved! Wow, the purple one, the one that PolitiFact had rated as the worst flavor! Oh, you don't care about Jay at all, do you? No, <laughs> you are racist. You are racist. Hey David, um, in light of your uh, blatant disregard for the black community uh, and your insults towards Jay, a few cast members and I uh, made a poem to express how that made us feel. Thank God, because prostate cancer is everywhere. Stay away from that shit, sir. 